After connecting the outdoor station and indoor monitor to the network, select your region and language and you'll be on this screen. The setup is slightly different for an apartment system, but we're going to select a villa for a house and press OK. We're performing a first time config and press OK. The indoor monitor will initially attempt to use DHCP in order to assign an IP address, but we're actually going to want to set up a static IP address as this will give us a more stable connection. So we'll press OK and make sure static IP is selected. And once that's done, we can press next. Then we'll create a six digit password for the indoor monitor. This will need to be all numbers. Then we'll need to re-enter it to confirm the password. And before we proceed to the next step, we'll need to begin inputting an email address. This will need to be one you specifically want to use for the purpose of account recovery in the event that that becomes necessary. Once you've finished entering that email address, you can then press next to move on to the next screen. For the setup of the outdoor station, a similar approach is required, but this time it needs to be an alphanumeric password that is created. This means the password must be a combination of both letters and numbers, as this ensures a higher level of protection. Once you've created a strong password, you can press next. Then press OK, and this will take you to the search device screen. On the left, you'll see options for local, the indoor monitor, and VTO, the outdoor station. Press initialize here on the right for both, and they'll be marked as initialized when done. Then you'll want to press next, which will lead you to the network configuration screen, which is a crucial step in the setup process. On arrival at this screen, you should find the edit option on the right hand side. Press the edit button in order to make some necessary adjustments to the outdoor station settings. The most important of these adjustments is to adjust the date and time settings for the outdoor station. This ensures that the system log is synchronized accurately with real world time. So take a moment to review and change both the date and the time so that they are correct. Once you've confirmed that the date and time are indeed accurate, the next step is to press OK to confirm the changes that you've just made. This action will then allow you to move on to the next stage in the setup process. So we'll press OK. You'll then need to simply press the one key config button in the bottom right hand corner. This may take a short while to complete, but once done, your door entry system should now be fully set up and operational. Congratulations. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from us here at S-Pro.